Hey, welcome back. So, um, you know, I'm excited because that last video that, that we did, you, you had never had barrel products. Never before. had a barrel product. Before. And if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Barrel craft bourbon. I think I got that right. My, I don't know a lot about them, but my interpretation is they're not a distiller, they're a blender. So they get bourbons from a lot of places and they blend them. This is my interpretation. I could be dead wrong. And if I'm dead wrong, please tell me I'm dead wrong and correct me, please. And do so in the comments. I'd, I'd love to hear the truth because all we try to do here with, with our bourbon tastings is like give you like our uh, professional opinion. They're definitely professional. Professional. There's no doubt I mean, about that. Well, drinks well but with others. Yeah. 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 Casey Donahue. That's good music too. Good buddy. music. Outstanding music. Like that's Red Dirt. Is that Red, right? Red Dirt. Yeah. yeah. He's, a, he's a Texas guy. Yeah. That's good though, because like good. go to Spotify, like put in like Red Dirt, and you're gonna get a good playlist. Absolutely, without a question. Good playlist. Yeah. You're gonna get Casey Donahue. You're gonna get Zach Bryan. You're gonna get uh, Morgan Wallen. You're gonna get uh, yeah. Tyler Childers in that mix. You're Wayne gonna Wayne gonna be Wade there. Bowen, Chris Stapleton. Yeah. Who's the other person I'm forgetting? Um, anyway, just do it. It's yeah. like good, and it's like. It's good bourbon sipping music. Yeah, all night long. All night, all yeah. night. So anyway, but I was like happy that I gave Jamie three drinks that he never had before, Barrel Craft. And if you watch that video, then you know, like there might be one he might try, but the price, maybe not, not so much. Yeah. But go watch it. Check it out. Today we got uh, three Blue Run um bourbons or, or whiskeys actually that we're going to drink and before i get too far please thumbs up if you like this uh give us comments feedback tell us things that you like you don't like about our tastings things we should try because twist our arm if you yeah. give us an idea of something we should try and we haven't we'll, we'll we try might, we might we might do it and once again, we're going to give away one of these bourbon tasting log books. I mean, these these are great for tasting notes. Like you can like keep detailed information about the bourbons that you try. I'll give you one of these for free, but there's a twist. You have to answer a question. You have to be the first one to answer the question, and you have to answer the question correctly. And we'll get to that here in a little bit. So the first person who answers our question and, and correctly in the comments and you can do so either via Facebook or YouTube, you're going to get a free bourbon tasting log book. I just gave Jamie one of these the other day. And I mean, I haven't used one yet either, but to me, it's like, this is, they're outstanding. You keep notes though, right? I keep notes. Yeah. I have not like all my notes are here. Yeah. And I you can't believe the stuff that goes on up here with me. I mean, it's unbelievable. Wow. No, I can't. And that's, I think I'm okay with that knowing right now. <laughs> But I know for myself, if I don't write it down, I'm not going to remember. I'm not going to remember. So, all right, let's dive in. So, um, Blue Run, my understanding of this company is that they are a brand right now. I think it's a fair way to say it. I think it's a fair way. And they have a contract distiller that is castle and key yes castle and key. that's true that's more sure. um have, have you been there i have not been there yet dude frankfurt is a place yeah. to go yeah like we went to on the a, list a man and i a few years ago we stayed i think we stayed in downtown frankfurt which Did you? Yeah. that's capital Kentucky, I mean, isn't it? it's the smallest state capital in the united states yeah. if i'm not wrong i could be wrong there but it's a tiny little town okay but they have a, like a cool bourbon bar, I think. But there's a lot of distilleries that are really, really close. Yeah, yeah, really close. Actually, Amanda and I here in a couple weeks, I, I told you about like our upcoming trip. Yeah. I think we're staying in Bardstown. Uh, well, actually, I know we're staying in Bardstown. Bardstown, but I think we're going to go. Actually, I think we're staying in Versailles. Okay. Oh, wait. I might have trips confused. Do you have any idea where you're staying? No. Okay, that sounds about right. Sometime soon, we're staying in Versailles. Okay. <laughs> which is close to Wild Turkey. Oh, great. That'd so we're going to go there. But I don't I don't think it's the next go. trip, but we're going to go to Wild Turkey. Okay. Because you have been such a high fan of Wild Turkey. Love it. Love it. Anyway, um, but blue, back to Blue Run. Um, they are my 
understanding is their brand and they contract their distillation with Castle and Key, which is in Frankfort, Kentucky. My only recollection of Castle and Key is their place. It looks like a freaking castle. castle. That's right. And down the road is a place that we went to for a distillery tour, tour called Glens Creek, mm. which is in the old, old Crow distillery. Really? And it's a cool place. I mean, their bourbon, I found something I liked. Actually, that was the first time Amanda tried a bourbon. Oh, wait. Maybe the second time she tried a bourbon, and she didn't make the face. <laughs> well, I'm still waiting for that with my wife, because she uh, definitely makes the face. Have you tried Wieners with her? Um, I have not. We went to Old Forester, Angel's yeah. Envy, um, yeah. and Evan Williams, and, and every time it was a terrible face and pushing it to me. But she, I mean, she really enjoyed the chocolates. The chocolates at Old, huge Old fan Forest of the are, are so good. Huge fan of chocolate. So good. All right. All right. Let's let's jump into this here. So we got uh, three different Blue Roads. I don't know how many products they have, but I got I got to confess. I was a sucker for the bottle. It's pretty Look neat. how cool it is. Yeah. A butterfly is pretty that cool. That butterfly, it's iridescent. This one is called Blue Run Kentucky Straight High Rye Bourbon Whiskey. And I think I have some notes on this one. So... Um, I can't find a lot about these other two bottles, but what I can tell you, at least what I found about this one, is it's 65% corn, 30% rye, 5% malted barley. Okay. I gave you a really good pour, or I guess maybe I gave myself a really yeah. good pour. I don't think I'm drinking all this one right now, so. Mm. Mm. Wait. What are you getting? I mean, I hate to keep saying ethanol, but that's the proof on this. I'll give you a few more details. Is 111 proof? Yes, yeah, it's, it's, there's there's ethanol there. The um, age statement that I can find is two years on this. Um, the price on this, these are all a little bit salty as far as bottles go. This is about 100 bucks, give or take. There's something else there. I, I can't. There is a sweetness there. And there's a little uh, bit of sweetness. I mean, maybe a toffee. I don't know. I don't, there's something sweet there. Maybe it's a caramel. Maybe it's a caramel. Yeah. It's almost like, this is an odd thing to say, almost like an ac, an apricot, apricot type of a hmm. smell to it. Fruit. Yeah. There's a, Definitely there's a fruit. fruit. I can get that. I can get by that. Whew, that's hot. <sighs> <clears throat> I don't hate it though. It is hot, but I, I kind of like it. I mean, it, it, it does a, definitely will open up the sinuses. <laughs> there is some heat there, but it is good. I mean, it's not overpowering. I think no, it's, it's not uh, overpowering at all. And it's like sometimes with a drink, and I don't hate them one way or the other, but sometimes it hits you on the heat on the front yeah. or hits you, hit you on the heat in the back. But for me, this is like, pretty smooth the whole time but i mean it's high heat but it's still a smooth drink it's very smooth and that seems weird to say that and the heat is on the front end there's no there's yeah. no real heat yeah that's true it comes down it on, on the back end it doesn't linger all the way down i mean in, in fairness i've had as have you a few different drinks tonight but i i, I like that drink it's a good drink it's a good drink it's very smooth all right, folks, I don't think I'm finishing the rest of this too healthy pour, but I'll have one more set before we move to the next one. It's very smooth. I agree. And I love how our kids are very cognizant that we're recording videos and they're trying to like be patient and like quiet. It's okay. Come on. It's all right. It's just part of YouTube. It happens. So anyway, you're not on camera, so it's all right. Like your eye makeup's good. All right. All right, so the next one, and I don't know if we're drinking these in the right order, but I kind of don't care. Actually, the the child that just walked by that yeah. none of y'all saw, uh, definitely under twenty one, but she says to me that she wants these bottles because she loves butterflies. Well, that is so really nice. I have to make sure that we drink them yeah. before she gets them. Well, I'll, I'll do my best. Yeah, yeah. So we. Um, Clearly, I'm not like. So this one does say it's an emerald rye. Emerald rye. So like this one is cool because like, I mean, hopefully you all can see this, but that butterfly is iridescent. Yeah. That butterfly is green. 
Yeah, that is insane. Yeah. I mean, the bottles are cool and it's a good brand. And what I read about these guys is even though they have like contracted their stilling to Castle and Key, yeah. they are in the process of like building their own distillery. So I think this is a brand that's like going to be interesting to find or keep keep tabs on. That because, would be interesting, yeah. Because I, in Castle and Key, haven't they gone through a uh, master distiller uh, change in the last I couple think of years? So yeah, and I, I so they're I, going through a little bit of change themselves. And I don't think I've had products Castle and Key. that yeah. are labeled Castle and yeah. Key. Do, do they make their own products? Do you know Castle and Key? I think believe. They do I don't think I've had their own stuff. So I mean, I guess essentially what I'm drinking right now is Castle and Key. But this yeah. is um, this is their Kentucky Straight Emerald Rye Whiskey. So a couple of things to note: Kentucky Straight says it's made in Kentucky. Straight means it's been aged for at least two years, mm -hmm. and the fact that it says rye whiskey means that the mash bill is at least 51 percent rye. Correct. Um, I think what I researched on this, the age statement on this is there's no formal age statement by um, Blue Run, but uh, you know, in the details, I think I read that this is a four year product. So, and it's a rye. It doesn't have a nose of a typical rye. It's in, it's it does unique, not. It's very unique. It does not. I, I know I've said this before, but it has a, a more of a chocolate smell. I think it's a dark. I mean, I know you're not a dark chocolate yeah. person, but I think it does have a dark chocolate nose. And I, I might have jumped the gun. I had a sip. I mean, as far as my opinion, as far as whiskeys are concerned, it's okay. I expect something different in a rye. Yeah, it doesn't taste like a rye. It doesn't taste like a rye. Like, I like rice a lot. It has a lot of legs on it. I mean, there's a lot of viscosity to it. But, um, uh, I mean, the proof on this this sucker is about 95. The price is 103. So all these all these Blue, blue Run products, they're going to cost you 100. They're going to cost you 100. Across the board, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I haven't seen one yet that's less than 100. Um, but it doesn't feel like a rye. It doesn't. That's Another the odd rye. part, dude. There's not a rye. Because I don't when, feel I see, rye. when I see rye on a label, it's like, I want the I, freaking heat. I just put heat from the front to back. Yeah. All the way down. And this does and not this have it. This is way hotter. The first way one hotter. way hotter. Not even close. This is not a bad drink. Not a bad drink. It's just not hot like a rye. Hmm. It's not. I, I, yeah. I, but that's a sipper, though. <clears throat> it's definitely a sipper. That's a sipper. Yeah. If I didn't know it was a rye, I wouldn't have guessed it was a rye. That's true. That's so true. It's a, it, it is a very smooth zipper. Um, I'm guessing the corn is really high on that rye bill. I think it has to be in the 40s. It has to be. It has to be That's, in the 40s. This is, this is pure guess. I'm guessing the mash bill in this is like 51 corn, 49%. Or, yeah, I'm sorry, sorry, 51 rye, 49% corn. Almost. Yeah, I think it's, it's very close. Definitely high corn. All right, so thoughts about the, the Blue Run so far? Um, definitely a fan of this. I, I mean, yeah. I'm a fan of this. I just would never guess it was right. I could sip on both of these all night. See, I would never pay 100 bucks for these again. Um, I'm glad you did uh, because I can drink them. But, to, yeah, I don't know if I would drink uh, I mean, or, or I'm, pay 100 bucks for these. My feelings aren't hurt that I spent this. But my wife would beat my ass if I paid 100 bucks for these. Yeah. Yep. Well, she doesn't even like them anyway. So she, she hates them. She'd yeah. probably beat your ass yeah. for spending 20 bucks a year, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. Truth but, I mean, truth be told, I mean, they're good. They're not 100 bucks good. They're not 100 bucks good. I 100% agree with that. They're like 50, 60 bucks good. When I can get um, Old mm -hmm. Forester 1920 for I know, right? 60 bucks, I'd do that all day with these. Because this is probably, uh, I feel like I'm doing Old Forester a disservice, but... I would put this in the same category yeah. as Old Forester 1920. Through the same category, is the problem is this is forty dollars more. I know. Above. I know. And I just can't do. And that. like, like my, like my nose and my mouth says, nope, yeah. not as good as something that's okay. forty bucks cheaper. And so my brain kicks in and says, nope. Yeah. No, but no, no. this is smooth, not a rye. I mean, I mean, it, it is a rye, but it doesn't. I know. Like it, a rye. I know it's called a rye, but it's not what I'm. I expect from a rye. Like what I like from a rye, it's like it's like burning my mouth. I agree. From the first moment my tongue tastes that. Yeah. 
Right. All right. So we're at a point where we promised fans that we, we would give them a bourbon tasting love book. We would. Did we tell them why? No, we didn't tell them why. All right. That's well, not important. Why are we giving them? So like you and I, like, like we've known each other for a long time. And I, and I think this is a fair statement. One of the things that we have in common is our love of baseball. Absolutely. Love like it. we, we played high school baseball. Hey, hey, you know like, <laughs> it's getting crazier and crazier. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, anyway, um, just disregard. Um, there, you might have heard that. We yeah, heard it. Definitely. We heard it. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I, I digress. But we have a love of baseball, and um, we Jamie's two years older than me, and so we played high school baseball together. Yeah. And we had like this awesome event that happened when you were senior, right? You remember? <laughs> Which one? No, like baseball. I think you were a senior when we won the Johnson County tournament, right? No, we were. I never won anything. Oh, you didn't? No. Oh shit! All you I were, did you get, already gone. I just got my arm cut on. Oh, I remember on that on the fence team. in the outfield. Yeah. Oh, sorry. We we won after you left. Yeah, My bad. That figures. Well, I yeah. was a problem. Anyway. But. Baseball, like you played first base. First place. We first. were trying to like like figure out like the start. I can line. actually do the splits. When you I could. I could all the way down. You could. Yeah. Can you still? No, I can't. I'm an old man. <laughs> I mean, there's no point. <laughs> What's the benefit of doing yeah. splits when you're yeah. in your fifties? I, I thought about joining the circus and doing that from time to time. But, I <laughs> but anyway, we we played a lot of baseball together or against each other for yep. a lot of years. Years. So, years, years. Um, but here's the other thing that I know is a fact. We love the same miserable MLB team. Love them. Love them. Love them. That team is the Cincinnati Reds. Yeah. So, Z Reds all day so, long. So can you like trace like your like why you like the Reds? I know why I like the Reds. So I had I'm a, guessing it's similar, but I haven't heard your story. So I had a uh, my great grandfather Lucas. Yeah. Was a huge Cincinnati Reds fan. Yeah. And so, uh, but he was like forties, fifties. Oh yeah, he, 60, he like yeah, Evans but Field stuff, right? Evans Field stuff. So uh, to me, it was Johnny Bench, it was yeah. Tom Seaver, it was Joe Morgan, it was David, David Concepcion. Concepcion. Yeah, you know, yeah. Tony Perez at first base. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was these are the guys that made the me big love Red Machine, yeah. Red Red Machine. Because me, you can actually probably remember the Big Red Machine. I can remember I'm the a little, yeah. like, I got the bigger red machine, like when they were like yeah. geriatric, you know, like <laughs> tail end. Yeah. I mean, like when I started, like follow my dad definitely followed the bigger red yeah. machine. Yeah. But when I started following baseball, it was like the tail end of the big, big red machine. Yeah. But you still had Pete Rose, yeah. you had Perez, you had, and you had Concepcion, Rose. you had George Foster, um, and you had um, King Griffey. King Griffey, you know, when you had Seaver and you had. Um, Johnny Bench, yeah. When Pete stuff. Rose broke the the all time hit record, yeah, that, that was, was like, um, I'll never forget that day. You know, he got the yeah. hit off Eric Shaw, yeah, and it was a hit right up yeah. right up the middle. Came in the center field, and he it's got amazing. up to first base, like, and then four thousand one hundred ninety two hits. Right? hits. And like, then when they won, we the know this. We're Reds fans. When they won the that's World your Series answer, by the way. In nineteen ninety, that was. I like mean, that team was like they swept it. They led from but that from team was like a bunch of nobodies. Chris Sabo, Todd Bensinger, Eric Davis. You know. They had the, the the nasty boys though. Rod Dibble and Rod Dibble, Norm Charlton, Charlton and, and uh, uh, Myers. Was, yeah, uh, was really, yeah, yeah. Was, was, so you had your seven, eight, and nine. And so uh, when you got to those innings, you were you're dominant. And you had Jose Rio was your starting pitcher. I know. And so these guys to me, that was baseball. Yeah, they played a good game. Oh, it was great. Like Reds ownership, talk to Jamie and I. For the love of God, we have please. your answers, and we will invest in making sure you bring a good product. To yeah, the field. yeah, I won't spend any money, but I'd come to a ball game if you actually did a. We will coach. Ball. We will coach. We will coach. <laughs> exactly. Jamie's third base coach. I'm first base yeah. coach. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would send them like, to the base. We have some time. ideas. Bring. Good baseball back to Cincinnati. Please. And that first. Come on. It's a long time. Joey Votto. Like, Joey Votto. I like, love Joey Votto. love him. Like, he's like a, a fans, like, fans player. He is. His contract's kind of terrible for the Reds, but he's an Man. outstanding ball player. 
Outstanding ball player. And not just like on the field, you're going to get everything he's got. Everything. Everything. Everything he's got. Yeah. And from a personality perspective, he's good for the brand. He's absolutely good for He's great for the brand. What did you think about, um, um, gosh, what was his name? Uh, second baseman a few years ago. Um, I can picture him. Uh, anyway, I'm digressing. So the second baseman of the day is Jonathan India. He's good. He's really good. He's extremely like talented. Young. And they have a ton of middle infielders that they got via trade. I know. It's crazy. Um, they, they got to decide, you know, are you going to play these guys today or are you going to trade them off? Mm-hmm. So my, my fear with the Reds is they're going to trade them off. Which has been the name yeah. of the game. Anyway. agree. Reds management, call us. We have answers to yeah, problems. Yeah, I got a lot of answers. Those who want to win a bourbon tasting logbook are our favorite baseball team. Cincinnati hey, Reds. Reds. First person to yeah. leave that in a comment gets one of these for free. So easy peasy Japanese. All right. That probably wasn't nice to say. That was outstanding. Yeah. All right. So all right. So the last blue run we're gonna sip on is called the reflection one. And look at that. Blue, that that butterfly is like That's, silver. Yeah. Their um, bottles are outstanding. Yeah, you it's know, cool. They're and, outstanding. And like I said, I think they got I know they have one with a black butterfly. I think they have one with a blue butterfly. I don't like profess to know all their products, but right now it's like a brand. It's, I mean, so far two out of three, and we're about to have the third. Yep. The product's good. Outstanding. It's good. I agree. It's yeah. good, right? All right. So let's dive into number three. And as far as this one is concerned, again, I don't have a lot of details on the Nashville on this. It's hot. One sixteen point seven. Okay, that's a decent. It's decent. It's hot, but I think I think the noses are are pretty similar. I agree. The noses are all similar. This doesn't. The nose isn't any hotter than any of these others. But I mean, they go through the whole thing on their on their. It's 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 good marketing. It's really good marketing. That's good. That's that good. is extremely smooth. That is good. Um, that's my favorite. Of the three, that's my favorite. Because for me, why it's my favorite. I mean, the noses are the same. Uh, are sem- very, very, you could tell very these are related yeah. as far as the nose is concerned. But as far as the taste, it's buttery. It doesn't, it, it sips like it tastes way below its proof. It does yeah, not taste it? like 116. Okay. It does so not no, taste... I would not have guessed it was 116. But yeah. danger, 116 proof, and you like the way it tastes, yeah. it's smooth and buttery. It gets you in trouble. Mm-hmm. And like... You can get effed up pretty fast. Yeah, yeah. But this is a good drink, in my opinion. I mean, what do you think? There's butter there. There's yeah. almost like a sugar cookie. There. Oh, I mean, yeah. It's a, there's a sweetness. There is there. a sweetness, but it's not like overpowering and it's not like dominant. No, not even in the ballpark. To me, the butter is like the dominant flavor. Yeah, the butter. I mean, it's it, it's like I think like my daughter used to eat a stick of butter when she was a kid. That makes sense. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and and uh, like I get it. Butter's good. Yeah, butter's outstanding. Butter is good. Like. I kind of want to eat a stick of butter right now. Yeah, I think you should. I think you should do that on camera for everybody to see. But I feel like I'm drinking a stick of butter in this drink. And I'm taking a bite of a sugar cookie. I get the sugar cookie. Butter and sugar cookies. Like Sugar cookies have buttery taste, though. They do. Like That's, um, a, good, that's a good reference. That's like, good. Thing. It's like sugar cookie cookie dough. Like, did you eat that when you were a kid? Oh. I didn't eat a lot of cookie dough. I was afraid I'd get poisoned by the raw eggs. I was afraid, but th- yeah, that, that might sense. have been my problem now. Yeah, that makes sense. My mom didn't like say stop eating raw cookie dough, and like here we are. Maybe that's what happened. Yeah, here we are making bourbon videos. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> that's good. It's really good. I mean, this it's so good. It's my three. favorite of the three. I was gonna say this is my favorite of the three. Um, I would spend a hundred bucks on this. I would spend a hundred bucks on this one. I would not spend a hundred bucks on these other two. No. This one's good. Yeah. This one's good. Yeah, I would say these um more yeah, they're good. Than, they're good. They're out they're not hundred bucks good. They're fifty dollar good. Yeah, agreed. Um agreed. And then uh, be honest with you, the second one, I would not have guessed that was a rye. No way. 
No way. Um, but yeah, that third one is, is really good. So good. Um, I I would do fifty bu- do a hundred bucks on that all day. Yeah, it, this this is a good find. It, it, yeah. And I, I think they have this is reflection one. I think they have reflection two out in the wild right now. I don't know where you could find that, but okay. anyway. I'm curious to find other Blue Run products. So like, yeah, I'm interested. They have now. all the friggin' butterflies of blue. Yeah, the whole rainbow of butterflies. I yeah. will find them. Um, like I'm gonna hunt them a little bit. I think. I think. Yeah, maybe. I think Blue Run has actually made the list now. Of, of yeah, that's the, good. It's the good. I'm it's gonna, good. I'm gonna look like, for. Um, but don't get the iridescent butterfly. Don't get the green butterfly. Get the silver, silver. and different colors. Yeah, like that's all you have to know. So anyway, what do you all think? Have you had Blue Run? What do you like? Yeah. What don't you like? Interested in and, hearing everybody else says. I mean, the winter has probably already happened by now, but yeah. like, what's our favorite MLB baseball team? See you, Reds. That park is good. It's, it's good. a good baseball field. Outstanding. It is way better than where we're from. Oh, God, where we're from is terrible. It's like a concrete monster. It, is concrete. it was the worst. Yeah, it was the worst. All right, if you want to go watch a good baseball game, number one, you go watch the Indianapolis Indians. Oh, that's the best. That's yeah. the best place to watch yeah. a baseball game. Yeah. Second favorite place is Synergy Field. Synergy Field. But yeah. buy the good tickets. Like Splurge. Don't buy the shitty tickets. Buy yeah. the good tickets. Yeah, Get I third agree. baseline or, or first baseline. It's a good place to watch a baseball game. It is. And, again, thumbs up. Comments. Let us know what you when think. When you go to Cincinnati, you're not that far from Bardstown. I know. You're really not. You're really not. So you can make a weekend of it. You're really not. So. And, you know, let us know. What what should we try? What should we drink? Let us know. All right. Thank you. Thank you.